All right, man. Uh, Detroit Lions have some more news coming in. As we know, basically, they lost a lot of staff members. Got rid of Pascalonia today, if you didn't know. So looking for a D coordinator, O line coach now, and a strength conditioning coach, and a few other coaches. But the Lions have been announced to coach uh, one half of the Senior Bowl, and also they are eligible for the HBO Hard Knocks. Um, for next year, so let's talk a little bit about both real quick. We back, Marcy Sports Talk. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. And let's talk a little bit about Hard Knocks. I'll be less time on that. Um, yeah, Hard Knocks, they got um, rules they go by on how to select the team since a lot of teams don't want to do it. Um, if you didn't make the playoffs in a certain amount of time, which the, the Lions haven't, and you still retain your coach, which they did, they still retain Matt Patricia, um, you know, they eligible to host Hard Knocks. And it's between them and a few other teams as well. Um, so they could be hosting Hard Knocks next year. I don't think so. I don't think the NFL has any interest in the Detroit Lions. At least last year at the Oakland Raiders, there was Antonio Brown for a second. John Gruden coming back to Raider Nation. And, and they have some personalities on there as well, too. So right now with the Lions, there's nothing charismatic about it. So I'd be surprised. If they award, you know, Detroit Lions with hard knocks, so that's over with. But by not making the playoffs, once again, they are eligible and not firing Patricia for hard knocks. So I believe they are aware of that by now. And I'd like to know in the comment section, would you guys be interested to see the Lions on hard knocks? I haven't watched hard knocks in a very, very long time. Um, I can't remember when I watched it. All right. So I'm really not a big fan of the show. Maybe the when the Ravens and stuff of that nature was on it. And uh, I think the last one I watched was when Reggie Bush was with the Dolphins. But, um, but yeah, the senior bowl, okay? Matt Patricia and his staff, you know, are going to be uh, coaching one half of the senior bowl. Now, how the senior bowl goes, they usually take the team with the two re the worst records. People say, well, the Lions had the third worst record in the NFL. But the two teams with the worst record have to uh, retain their coaches. No new coaches. As we know, Washington Redskins hired Ryan Rivera and uh, Jack Del Rio as their defensive coordinator and Ron Rivera as their head coach. They're going to wait to hire a general manager. Therefore, there's probably not enough time for Ron, Ron Rivera to put a staff together for the senior bowl. Is that's why they do it that way. So Patricia still got a staff intact. The Bengals didn't didn't fire. I think his name is Zach Taylor. Uh, they didn't fire him. So the Bengals had coach one half, and the Lions had coach one half. Now Lions basically. Got half of, got rid of half of them, the majority of their staff. So Patricia gonna have to hurry up and put a staff together to go coach at the Senior Bowl or take what he got. Um, so you know, with the staff and Patricia, real quick, the Fords basically told him to get rid of some people, and they did that for damage control. If you didn't hear my video earlier, so the fans that think something really gonna change, and nothing really gonna change. No prominent or special defensive coordinator is going to coach under Matt Patricia in that system. This is his system, his defense. Paul Pascaloni was a figurehead and a scapegoat. But with the senior bowl gives them an in-depth look on God's personality, on how they, you know, how they really uh, retain information and how they kind of, you know, uh, respond to Matt Patricia's coaching style. You know what I'm saying? And also get a player's uh, insight on if they want to play for the Lions or not. Now, usually there ain't a lot of high-profile picks that go to the senior bowl. As far as number one, number two, number three, because if you special nine times out of 10, you coming out junior, red shirt, junior or something of that nature. So it, ain't, it don't be a, real, a lot of special. I mean, like blue chippers that come. And if they are blue chip seniors, they usually skip the senior bowl and go into the draft process with the combine. And they usually don't do a lot of the combine either. So but it's giving them an in-depth look at some guys that's probably going to go later in the first and later in the draft, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth round, et cetera. And. I think that's a good that's a good thing for the Lions. You know, they kind of get to look at how some offensive linemen um, look, how some receivers look. They need help everywhere. So I think this is a huge advantage on, on them on what type of guys they want. Because for me, in, me in general, it don't sound like Bob Quinn really got a clue on what he's doing or what a plan on what he's trying to do. I don't think he really can grasp. I don't think he can grasp what's going on with this team. I think he don't know what's going on with Patricia or at least he don't know how to fix it. You know, so really they starting off from scratch. Now, most people that, you know, is told that they got to make the playoffs after being 3-12-1, they're probably going to rush rush the job and try to throw it together. So he said they're not going to rush. I doubt it. When your job on the line 
and a certain amount of pressure is applied to your neck, you're going to do what your body do naturally, and that's rush and try to overspin and, and try to, you know, reach and do this. But this team is in full rebuild, re, re, excuse me, in rebuild mode. But I think the senior bowl is, is good to bring mature guys on. And usually most times seniors be ready to go. They mature. They 21, 22, 23 sometimes. And, you know, they can plug right on in. You know, and they played a lot of football over their tenure. And like I said before, playing the defensive side, the offensive side, the Lions need help everywhere. You know, even the center position where Ragnar need a backup. They get rid of Glasgow. They need a guy that can back them up, that they, they, they respect or they trust. You know, tight end is the only position they probably solid at. So, you know, uh, with hard knocks, I mean, for me in general, if the Lions were on it, I would watch it. You know, even though I don't watch HBO no more, after that Never Neverland documentary they did was just total crap. And they they got out the boxing game, so there's really no me no reason to watch it. I got a fire stick, but the Senior Bowl I I usually tune in when I can. I'm definitely gonna tune in knowing that Patricia gonna be there, and also get a, get a, uh the seniors or the people on their team insight if they want to play with the Lions. Maybe if they got a workout offer, they don't want to go to the Lions, or maybe if they got an interview, maybe they don't like uh, Mike, Mike Matt Patricia. So we'll see how I rock out. Appreciate everybody for checking in. I'll link some articles in the description proving this to be true. Uh, under article links, just hit the drop down box. Don't forget we on social media, all the links in the description. Want to make a donation, just share the video. Appreciate the love support. One time for the one time Mercy Sports Talk. Check my other channel out, Goodfellow Sports TV.